Good morning. I'm taking a chance today and you can already see it feels like it's paying off. I'm on the South Downs just outside Alfriston. The sunrise looks incredible. It's not even risen. This is pre sunrise. It just looks amazing. I'm on the South Downs. I don't know really where I'm heading or I haven't got anything specific in mind. I just know, well, I was coming back from a friend's and the South Downs was kind of on the way. So I thought, why not? I think the idea is I'm just gonna walk along until I find something that's gonna serve as an awesome, an awesome picture. See what the morning brings, hey? See what this beautiful morning brings. Let's go, let's go! Look what I have found. Style, gate, entranceway. And it's got this nice bit of, the sheep have been trying to squeeze through this little gap here, leaving some wool on the post there. So I feel that will add a nice bit of texture to the picture, the style, and then boom, massive view. Also, what looks like a body of water over here reflecting this gorgeous pre-sunrise red. Cloud cover looks like it could go either way, it could get worse or get better. But I'm just gonna set up and enjoy this morning because it's gorgeous. I'm pretty happy with this composition. What we got? Whoa, I can't see. Right, quite camera. On the bottom right of the uh, shot is the style and the gate. Gate, style, well, it's a gap, a gate. A deep question, is a gap a gate? Well, it's definitely a style here and then our eye is going to go towards the top third left of the picture, towards the reservoir. So that's, that is the composition. Super happy with that. I put my Sigma 19mm on. I don't need to be super wide, but also the Sigma 19mm sharp lens, sharp prime lens. Polarizer is on because there's probably reflections, especially in the water there of the reservoir slash lake and the reverse grad because this if you want to get this information in the one shot rather than having to bracket it or hdr it reverse grad filters just help you nail it in camera first time filters i'm a fan of filters in fact, I will show you how handy having a reverse grad is right now. Okay, I'm going to record this so I can show you. I've had to adjust the settings on the camera so I can get a decent recording going on here. But basically, this is with the reverse grad, without the reverse grad. with 
without. Hopefully that will help you see what difference it makes. In fact, if I twist it round, you should be able to see this side here darken up. And as I bring it back round, now this side's darker. And now, there we go. Hopefully that helps explain it. Now I've got my composition dialed in. For settings, I'm at F8. There's a bit of depth of field going on because we've got this gate pretty near me. And then we're looking off into infinity. So F8 seems to cover that depth of field that I need and will keep the image sharp. Now, because the sky is gonna be pretty bright compared to the, the land, even though I've got the reverse grad in, there's still going to be quite a lot of dynamic range going on. I'm going to bring back the uh, exposure by about half a stop, just so I can get more information in the sky. I can bring up the shadows in post then and balance it out better, because I don't want to lose the gorgeous colours in the sky. And the sun is just starting to poke. Just it's gonna come up any minute you can tell but how amazing do these clouds look just it bouncing off the bottom of these clouds looking amazing Woo! yes see I was looking at the forecast apps and it said pretty much 100% cloud cover and I was ooming and ahhing and I thought no I'm gonna risk it I'm gonna risk it for a chocolate biscuit and I feel rewarded. I feel very rewarded right now. Okay, slight change to the composition. I brought the camera down because I wasn't getting enough sky, this gorgeous sky and the clouds, I wasn't getting enough of it. So I've brought it down and now I've got about just under a third of it is sky. About half of it, coming up to half, is the gate here. And then you can see through the gate, see the land. And while... What I'm doing right now, while the sun is just sticking its head up, I've gone to F22, that would give me a nice starburst effect. Bringing down the exposure by a stop, so I can get as much of that information in the file, in the raw file as possible. My only complaint would be the annoying strong breeze. <sighs> Amazing. sun's gonna hide away I've got my best shots already I'm for sure not gonna get anything better this morning so I'm gonna pack away now head back head back head back home look at the pictures oh can't wait
I think it's okay.